this is Nikki and I'm just part back with part two of that read because I got cut off. So we are moving into the sun because we're all having, you know, shedding our skins, moving into more and more purity around all of our energies because as we release things with the moon cycles and we step into more and more of our intentions, we release all of the things that we are attached to because we change into what we will, you know, basically the the kind of more and more of our soul self because we are in this together this is a soul contract this is a love contract this is all about bringing balance and knowing that you know you signed up to it together so there is no way that you will not end up together if you stay in your heart space because these relationships are all about opening the door to your heart and living a heart-based life and a love-filled life and a romantic intimate life and living from the heart means you know really really challenging yourself on every level to move out of fears and anxieties and all of the norms of life really and moving more and more into your heart so before you react to anything always go into your heart first and say Do, is that out of love is it out of fear or is it out of something else? And, you know, always try to go back into your heart space because that's what we are learning. And that is a journey, you know, that doesn't happen overnight by any stretch of the imagination. So that's why it's a flow, right? Just as the rose petals are flowing out of this cupboard um, and opening the door to more and more love, the rose petals pave the way, right? Just like your energy is paving the way together to create balance, to create unity, and to keep you, basically, you're always together in the heart anyway. And so what I um, just wanted to, I pulled a golden path guidance for us and we got new beginnings. I pulled a golden path guidance for them and they got balance. <laughs> and at the heart of us, and I keep getting this and lots of people for their um, personal readings as well, we got wisdom. So I am just gonna go through um, the cards so basically on our side new beginnings an exciting new chapter of your life is about to unfold over the coming days and weeks you will begin to feel a sense of renewed clarity purpose and direction through a series of serendipitous events you are intuitively guided to explore new places options and possibilities for your life you will discover options that you never realized you had Embrace all that is new and wonderful and let all that no longer serves you go. The past is behind you. Thank it and lovingly surrender it. Like the seasons of nature, your life is forever flowing and changing and you are evolving to ever greater spheres of love and wisdom. Enjoy the journey and blessing that is coming your way. And the affirmations are this. I am one with life's eternal flow. I invite all that is new and exciting into my life and embrace it. My life is full of endless possibilities. I accept and I'm grateful for all the blessings I receive today. So look, what's so lovely about that is, is about, you know, it says about they're walking away from things that aren't serving you. And what we're wanting is literally in our wanting space was literally to be doing that. We, you know, we actively want to release things because we're wanting to walk more and more and more into the higher heart, into the unconditional love. Because it's a journey for all of us to do that. Every single day is a journey to walk and be more and more of a love warrior, to walk more and more and more into your higher heart and into this unconditional love realm. The realm of like magical, amazing things that are happening all the time. And so on their side, what I love about this is they got balance. And look how many balance cards that they got at the heart of their matter is the yin and yang card. Key thing to know about them was the angel of balance. And then not only that, but then they then get their golden path guidance is I am balance. So the guidance that I'm really getting <laughs> is that basically the more calm you are with your energy, or we are, because I'm in it too, <laughs> uh, the more calm we are, 
with our energy, then the more we just sit in this space of, I just know it's going to happen at the right time because his soul is right there, their soul is right there and they want to be with you, then basically it's all cool. It's all cool. You can just sit back, relax and just know, okay, I'm on my own journey now. I'm on, I'm on my own journey to release things and to move more and more into this love vibe because I want to say, seek my balance within. And then this is what they're feeling. Look at it. It's balance, balance, balance. I mean, it's brilliant. So, but in order to create the balance, this is why the guy, this is what they're going through at the moment. So, negative thoughts and self-criticism are diminishing your sense of worth. And as such, you do not see the beautiful and unique qualities that you possess. At the core of your being, you hold endless love and creative possibility. Love and creativity are your true nature. The things you don't like about yourself, believed to be bad or ashamed of, are as good and valuable as the things you do like about yourself. Yin and yang, or positive and negative charges, are a necessary part of life and exist in everyone and in everything. Without this, nothing in our world would exist. In rejecting aspects of yourself, you are in a way rejecting the whole nature of existence. It is only through embracing and loving yourself totally that the balance can be restored. You do not need to improve in order to be successful and happy. You just need to change the perceptions you have of yourself. Love and accept yourself as you are and your life will automatically transform. You don't need to change who you are, you just need to love yourself. And the affirmations are this, I love and accept all of me. I love and accept the world as it is. There is nothing to change, there is only love. So with that guidance, you can totally understand now why their thought process is all about anxiety. It's because they're going through this thing of thinking they're not good enough. And they're thinking of all the things that have happened and all of this stuff because they're waking, you know, that they're wanting to become more and more of their soul self. And that is kind of shaking them up. But as we all know on this journey, you've got to love all of yourself. There is no sense of right and wrong, good or bad or all that stuff. It's not about being a pure person, you know, this pure light because... You know, what's my pure light could be your pure dark, you know, because <laughs> we're all different, right? But that's what their challenge is at the moment. They're, they're, you know, thinking that they have to be kind of like this, I don't know, like kind of like never being touched, never being, you know, this kind of sense of real, you know, I feel that they're thinking that they're not, they, they have to be pure to be in this type of relationship and that's not the case, right? So that's <clears throat> what they're going through, which is why, again, it's so important to be able to understand that and then it gives you, it allows you to calm the mind, right? Because you're like, okay, well, I know what they're going through and I know that I just need to be here for them and, you know, that phrase of holding space and, you know, it's really just sitting sitting in your own love vibe, basically, and just knowing that they will come for you at the right time. Because at the heart of the matter is wisdom, which again, I love because it's green, it's the peacock feathers, it is it's this sense of serenity, and also it is the last card of the deck as well. So, the greatest wisdom is to see through appearances and this card confirms that you've taken the right course of action and have responded in the correct manner. Sometimes the best thing for all concerned is to have the strength to say no. Your recent response will empower and help both you and others. You have shown great wisdom by standing in your truth and yet you have done this with great love and respect for yourself and for others. You are like the willow whose branches sway with the wind, but whose roots remain firmly embedded within the earth. Life is constantly changing, but its core essence remains the same. Love and wisdom do not change. They only grow stronger. Continue to live and respond to all in your life through love and truth. For in doing so, you honour the spirit of all living things. And the affirmations are this. I listen to my inner wisdom. I stand firm in my truth. Life is constantly changing, 
but love and wisdom only grows stronger. Well, ooh, it makes me tingle because what beautiful guidance. So for them, they're going through this seeking balance within, which is creating them a bit of anxiety because they're thinking, you know, am I this good enough for this amazing, you know, unconditional love connection and this, you know, this sort of, you know, head over heart stuff again, the head getting in the way and keep putting all these crazy preconceived things in their heads. But for us, it's all about we know that we're on a journey to walk away from energies that aren't supporting us. We know that, you know, we're headed for this amazing union. We know that we're ready to charge forward. We know that the plan is all in the hands of the divine. And so what I wanted to, this is the picture of the crystal grid that I do. At the heart of it is the forest lovers who are entwined together for eternity around the oak tree that I was guided to set up for me and my twin, that last lion's gate, and then I put out for everyone. And so all the people that are joining the crystal grid, they receive a piece of rose quartz and this photo, and then you can have your own grid at home. The power of collective intent to bring everyone into their unions and to help ground unconditional love onto the planet because the rose quartz crystal is huge at grounding the energies of love on the planet. But the power of the sacredness of the trees, the forest lovers, Everything is like reaching this amazing, amazing energy into the universe and into the planet. Now, the song that was in my head when I woke up this morning, if you follow my messages and everything goes from one to the next to the next, yesterday's message was in a healing, um, a, a divine, um, uh, their partner had given, had said about blue suede shoes. And then who knew, but I had lots of people <laughs> saying that that had... Um, meaning for them and what was so lovely is a girl whose birthday it was she was in the hairdressers and she opened a magazine to a pair of blue suede shoes and she said that she really needed to get that message because it was her birthday and she knew then it was from her twin as well so this is why I love sharing these messages and sharing what happens in the healings because I know that they have such meaning for lots of people because it will ring home and ring true for you now, the song that was in my head this morning was You Are Beautiful um, by James Blunt. Now, given that we had the messages about the shoes yesterday and we are all, you know, shoes are what you put on your feet to walk this planet and we are walking further and further into our love vibe and further and further down our love path where all doors will lead to love, i.e. all doors lead to your twin. The further you go down your love journey, the further you know that that's just a, it's just a done thing. There is no questioning because the plan is there, right? The plan is already in the hands of the divine. But what's so brilliant is I come to YouTube to search for it and guess what? He's holding a pair of shoes, of course. So just know this, this in fact is your divine counterpart, doesn't matter about the sex, holding the shoes and saying, keep walking towards me, keep walking in love because I am right here waiting. All right, I hope that helps. Take care. Bye.